You know, Instruments, Big Boss once said, we fight because we are needed. But what if we can't fight because a whole bunch of Metal Gear Solid games have been delisted because Konami forgot to renew a license for some historical footage? Yep, that's happened. It happened around November of uh, 2021 and those licenses still haven't been renewed, it seems. So it got me thinking, if I got the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection, which you can get on Amazon of all places, brand new and plastic and everything, would the actual download component codes work still and solve the problem? With Metal Gear Solid 4 leaving PlayStation now on the 17th of May 2020, what would it be in the 15th right now? All hopes are going to be lying on PlayStation's new PlayStation Plus tiers, likely in the premium package, on the long rumored remake also. So what if you have a PlayStation 3? Will the Metal Gear Solid the Legacy Collection actually work? There's some download codes combined with the uh, discs. So will it work now that they've been removed and delisted? Can you still download them if you bought them this way? That's what we're going to find out. Normal delivery on Amazon with this. This is an import though. The question is, will the import work? Okay. It seems to be in English. You may have to use an American account for it. Let's find out if it's a solution, at least until they renew the license. Yeah, maybe this decade. The code is for Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid VR missions. And then this one is the other games on disc two and then disc one is Metal Gear Solid 4. We'll start with the discs and we'll see what's what because it says import when you're buying it via uh, the Amazon. So I don't know how that's going to work out. Right, I'm sticking in the disc one. All right, guys, it looks like the first disc was it the second disc. Disc one, I think this is Metal Gear Solid 4 works as that, this was the one we expected to work with no problems anyway. So now we just need to test disc number two and then we're going to test uh, the cold which is the one that's the most contentious for this imported amazon disc let's see how that goes okay let's try this number two this number one mail gets over four is a success and the update is installed disc two seems to be working this is one of the ones that we've been removed so we'll just run that here we go with the iconic intro so it's working all good so far the the fact that it's an import disc hasn't been a problem, but let's see if the cold creates a problem. We have to do a US account first, we'll see. Okay, finally guys, for the cold section here, which is the uh, pamphlet they've given us, we're gonna have to go to the account management, just above the store here. Remember we're in PlayStation 3, account management, redeem codes. Now I'm gonna see if this requires an American account or some other country, because it says import, so I don't know what the import part means yet. Hey, let's see if it works. Because your enter may not be correct or may no longer be valid. Please check your entries. I wonder if it's country, region, or my entry. Let's check. Okay, we're trying again, this time in my US account. Let's see. There we go, guys. You need to use your US account if you want to use the codes part of the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. Otherwise, everything else works fine. So we have the uh, Metal Gear Solid VR Missions, PS1 Classic, and, and Metal Gear Solid, the OG. So use and we'll download them. I'll be back when those are done. Now you can see, guys, they are both installed. Now, I'm currently in my US account, as you were probably told from the top. It said on the top, uh, left there the US to jar. So what you should be able to do, even though you, sometimes you have to, in this case, activate these Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection code, if you do it with a US account. Um, but what you should be able to do is switch to your normal territory account and still play the game once it's installed as I've done there. So let's see if that's the uh, case here. We'll just switch. Go for it to sign in. And then we should be able to play it as normal. I forgot about the installing part. Oh, here we go, guys. So I think you can still get this Metal Gear Solid 1 on, on GOG.com. Metal Gear Solid 2 was removed from there. But um, if you want the OG PlayStation Experience one, and want to bypass the whole delisted thing, then you can get this disc version and use the code. There we go, it's working. Their call is forward. Why are we using Japanese control scheme? 
Right. So there you go, guys. There you have it. If you want to bypass the whole issue with uh, delisting and you have a PlayStation 3 and a US account, if you're not in the US, then you can get this uh, on Amazon. I'll leave a link for it and it will solve all your problems as long as you don't mind playing through PlayStation 3 and having a US account and you can switch back to your uh, whatever other country you have in Latin America. You're good to go. All right, guys, leave a like if this helped you. I don't. Do you even care? I don't know. Maybe you don't care. Maybe I was wasting my time. Anyway, I'm gonna go play some Metal Gear, I guess.